Okay, so what we're going to do today is install the Canine Web Browser on an Android phone. This is very similar to the process that you go through with a tablet or any other Android device. So the first thing that we do is we go to the Google Market, which is called Google Play now, and we do a search for K and 9. So there's a few things that come up. What we're after is a K9 Web Protection Browser. So you can see a couple of screenshots there, shows you what it's about a bit. If you read the description, that gives you an idea of what it's actually filtering against. So most websites it'll look through. If anything meets any of those criteria, then it's going to block it. So we're just going to accept and download. That'll take a little while to download. So we're going to skip to the end of that. This basically replaces the normal browser that you would have on your Android device, but it blocks any inappropriate content. So it's a safe portal into the internet. So that's done now, so we're going to open that and we'll have a look at our browser. So you can see that there's a link on the, on the home page. So the first thing that we do is put in the password. Now it's best for the person who uses the phone to not know the password obviously, otherwise they can just bypass it. So the password, you need to type the password in before you can access any of the settings or disable it. So with the enable admin mode we turn that on, that just stops the, stops the user of the phone to just going and uninstalling the K9 browser. Then we're done. So now we're getting into the browser itself. So remember this is a replacement browser to what you'd normally use on your phone. And it has all of the features that you'd expect. So you can type in your address at the top there. Top sites, bookmarks, there's your history. So we're going to go to the settings. There's a few other options that you can look at. But we're interested in the filter settings. So we're going to have a look at that. So we type in our password, and that gives us a few options there. So at the top, app controls. So the first option there, redirect web browsers. That means that every other browser on the phone is going to redirect itself to K9, which is definitely what you want. Blocking Google Play, it's a good idea having that on. Even though there are parental controls within Google Play for the apps, there isn't anything for the books or movies, and there can be inappropriate content in there, so you want to block that. It's easy enough to type in the password later on if they, if the person using the phone wants to install something. Native app redirection, turn that on. That just means that YouTube and Google search will go through K9. Basically, you want everything on the phone to go through K9 to make sure that it's safe. Second option there is blocking effects. You can have a, the phone make your barking sound when it's blocked if you want to. Security is what we were looking at before, so that's already been turned on. So what we're going to do now is try to use a built-in browser. So normally that would open the browser that you can use, but that's not protected obviously. So now you can see that forces it to go through K9, which is what you want. If there's another app that you're trying to use, so for example here, there's another app, which a widget for news. So if you click on one of those pages, normally that would come up in your internet browser. Now it gives you an option. So if we choose the first one, which is internet, you can see it goes back to K9. So all of the internet requests are going through K9 now. If we do that again, what you want to do is use by default and then use K9, then it just jumps straight to it. It's the same thing, it just avoids that prompt coming up. And here's our article. So it's obviously deemed that that's safe, doesn't meet any of those criteria. So there's our article there. So if there were issues with that, then it would have blocked it. So we can jump to our options if we want to, whenever we want. So you just type the password in. If you want to uninstall it, you can use that bottom button there because it won't work through Google Play. So you can see here that the market's been blocked. So if you try to access that, it asks for the password. So then the person with the password can type it in and then turn that off. And then you can access the Google market. And that's a good idea. You can install any apps, do whatever you want to, and then and go back to it. So obviously this doesn't make the, this means that the phone is a lot more protected, but it's not infallible. 
because there may be sites that get through K9. But the idea is that this protects it mostly. If you wanted to protect the phone completely, the best way to do that is to get another app. There's something called Smart App Protector. There's a few of them out there. And what you can essentially do is you can block whatever apps you want to. So you can block internet, block YouTube, block everything completely, and you can just leave enabled phone contacts, messaging, email, Google Maps, whatever applications that are definitely safe. That's the safest way to go, so you can go down that track or you can use K9 Browser. Thanks very much, that's it.